Welcome back to ORUGoldenEagles.com. I'm Eric Scott. I'm here with uh, ORU men's soccer coach Ryan Bush after a two to, or after a one nil victory over Missouri State. Coach, big win tonight. As we said, three game unbeaten streak now. Yeah, I thought it was a great effort tonight, um, and it's great to get a clean sheet. Really proud of the defense tonight. Really shut them down. I didn't feel like we faced a lot of quality opportunities from Missouri State, um, and the defense has been good all year against really quality opponents. We I mean, got a very high regionally ranked opponent tonight. Um, hats off to them. I mean, it was a great stuff from the back line and a great group effort from the six, seven guys that played back there tonight. Among the few games we've had at home, it felt like this was the first match it really that everybody played all 90 minutes nobody really took off we didn't sag a whole lot you know like you said like you said defense played awesome tonight yeah i mean we've told the team continually it's a growing process we've got to mature uh there's things about the culture of the program we're continually changing and working on every day we've watched a lot of film the last couple of weeks um and we've really showed the guys there's there's moments in the half where we really turn off and let up so we've tried to fix some of those things and i thought you know um, hats off to the leadership tonight. I mean, it's a lot about vocal leadership, knowing whenever those moments occur during the match. And I thought they did a well job of keeping us organized, um, disciplined through the midfield and back line, and just not allowing any ga gaps for Missouri State to really penetrate and create good opportunities in. Talk about the play of Ben LaCourse in goal. He's made, you know, it was against Roger State. He made a, uh, a lot of great saves towards the end of the game. Tonight, there was about a three-minute period where I think he made three saves, you know, kept Missouri State out of goal. Yeah, he's done a great job. Um, he's very athletic. He's a great shop stopper. I mean, there's not any part of the goal that he can't cover. He's that athletic. So he's a big deal. And he's a great kid. Um, I just think his overall, his work rate every day at training, he just kind of grinds away at it. Um, the guys have a lot of confidence in him, great kicking. Um, and, you know, just a lot of assets that he's brought to the table. Um, been really proud of his performance so far this year. Real quick, we kind of talked about this right before we went on. The conference starts this weekend, Saturday, at Fort, Fort Wayne here at 7 o'clock. You don't have a lot of time to prepare. What, what are some of the things you're going to focus on in the next couple of days in training? Well, I'll tell you. Um, tonight, I think, was a great, great preparation because we'll be able to go back and watch some more film on tonight and continue to improve things. I think going into the Fort Wayne game, we've really got to continue to work on the attacking third. Uh, tonight we got the goal. Still didn't feel like we created as many opportunities as we need to. Um, and I don't think that we were as dynamic in the attack as we need to. We need to create more opportunities. We need to move better in that part of the field, more composure. We need to get more shots on frame. That's the main part of the field that we'll talk about moving forward. Um, and hopefully here as we get into conference, uh, we'll start clicking in that part of the field. We've just in the last couple of weeks really begun to touch on it. Um, so hopefully we're more organized, more disciplined in that area of the field. All right, thanks for joining us today. Congratulations on the victory. Uh, tonight's victory is the first victory against Missouri State since 2007, and uh, it's the first uh, three-game unbeaten streak since 2010. So great job by the men's soccer program. They moved to 2-4-1 and one on the season. Like I said, they have Fort Wayne here at the Case Soccer Complex Saturday night for the conference opener at 7 p.m.